Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and you can visit me also on my personal website, RodneyReynolds.com. This Q&A video is about the latest and greatest in wireless technology. It is 802.11ac, which is much, much faster than 802.11n. It will allow for gigabit speeds. Cool, right? Oh yeah. We're talking multiple HD streaming simultaneously. So, you know, your kids, your wife, yourself, and everyone else can stream everything they want through over Wi Fi and no problems whatsoever. Because, as we know right now, even if you have 802.11n on a 5 gigahertz band on a decent router, adapters, sometimes even a single stream if you're playing it, uh, you know, at 1080p and it's a pretty large file, sometimes even that will buffer and pause. Not good, no. Not good at all, it is very, very irritating. Uh, this uh, new 802.11ac uh, is in draft stages right now, should be finalized by the end of this year, 2013, and be adopted around the world, and you know, 20, a couple years later, couple, you know, 2015, 2016, uh, who knows. But uh, everything's going ahead, nothing is going backward. Faster, 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 it's a good thing, uh, indeed. So, how is this actually accomplished? And it is actually based on the 802.11n technology, but, um, you know, how is this done exactly? How do you tweak uh, that to give you fantastic gigabit wireless speeds? I don't know about you, but that just really excites me. Uh, I will refer you to <laughs> wikipedia.org. Uh, over there, they really sum it up really well. Go over there and then do a search for 802.11ac, uh, and you'll get much, much more information about it. Um, I will read something from their website, though, and they really sum it up extremely well as how they kind of tweaked uh, the 802.11n technology uh, to get 802.11ac. So here we go. Uh, the speeds the gigabit wireless speeds uh, were accomplished by extending the air interface concepts embraced by uh, 802.11m. Uh, done by using a wider RF band, uh, more MIMO or multiple in, multiple out spatial streams, multiple user, uh, multi in and multi out, as well as high density modulation. So you don't really have to understand that. It's just that 802.11ac is going to be a lot faster than uh, 802.11n. Now keep in mind that it is still on the five gigahertz band, and that can be a little bit restrictive in the sense of range because a, you know, a 2.4 gigahertz band will give you a bit more range but that could be accomplished uh, if it's an issue with distance with you know repeaters and access points. And like anything new, of course, this technology is going to cost more and there isn't a lot of adapters and routers uh, available right now that has uh, 802.11ac, but they will come very, very soon, certainly mid to late this year. And you know, should if you're buying a router, should you go ahead and buy an 802.11ac router? No. Not, not really. You don't have to unless you want to, you know, have the latest and greatest technology. Uh, and remember, it is still currently in the draft stages, but that should, uh, you know, change pretty, pretty soon, certainly by the end of 2013. Well, I hope this answers your question and keep them coming. Remember, if you have a question for me, you can head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum.